Amani channel. This is webvideochefs.com and in this episode, I'm talking about interviews and how you can virtually create or record an interview using Skype. So I'm sure you've heard of Skype. It's a great uh, service that allows you to uh, make phone calls and also video calls. And so uh, there's actually software that's available. I'm going to talk about software for the Mac specifically. If you're on a PC, just check the post and there'll be a link there. All right, but let's go to the browser first and let's uh, check out Call Recorder for Skype. And it's uh, just a simple software. It's a plugin that works seamlessly with Skype. It's only $19.95. No, I'm not even an affiliate, but um, it's what I use and it works really great. All right. So let me show you the interface first of all. Um, like I said, it's just a plug-in, so whenever you launch uh, Skype, uh, the call recorder, um, you can see the little box here. That's for the call recorder plug-in. This is where you can configure it and check and make sure that you're recording things. Um, so let's go into settings, all right? You have a few settings here for um, the uh, call recorder settings. You have audio encoding, audio quality. Um, you have a few options for video encoding. I just keep it on H.264. Also for the video image, you can. Uh, there's some different sizes. I always choose 640 by 480 because that's basically full frame for a standard definition video. And then a video frame rate, I always keep it on maximum. All right, then you have some video recording options. So, um, you know, if you just want to record audio only, so let's say you don't even want to record any video, but you want to record the call, um, you just click on there. If you want to record only your camera, so the person doing the interview, you can click on that the remote person so the person you're interviewing then if you want to do split screen kind of like a double box in news you do split screen picture in picture and then multi-track which i haven't played around with so can't speak on that one too much all right and then you have some options here show recording recording indicator on video um, show recording controls at launch which is why you see that there and um, keep recording controls in front during calls and you have some other options there then when you where you want to save your uh, recordings too so there's a movie folder you can also save to desktop documents folder create a, a new location that way all right so that's basically it it's really simple to use um, and, and I, I highly recommend it all right let's say if you want to that's closed down you just click on view call recorder and that should bring the box back up there all right so basically you just call someone um, and I don't have any contacts online right now. So instead of showing you, if you want me to show you exactly how to do it, I could do that. But it's really easy. You just hit this record button once your call is initiated and it's going. So once your call is recorded, you can just click on there and it will take you to your archive of recorded calls. So this is an interview that I did with uh, Neil Augenstein, who's a really cool, innovative uh, reporter in D.C. who's using his iPhone um, to do all of his uh, field reporting. All right, so uh, you can do it all from from one device, and uh, I think for the last couple of years, uh, before smartphones were sort of uh, taking shape, uh, you know, the sense was so that was like my pre-interview conversation with Neil. But uh, you can sort of see what it looks like. He actually had an HD camera. This is with my uh, Max Eyesight camera, so the resolution on his video is a little bit better than mine. But hey, it still works. All right, so this is Adobe Premiere Pro. I usually use Adobe Premiere Pro to uh, sweeten my interviews. I'll just add graphics. Um, you usually add like a little, little the logo. I'll add some lower thirds. And uh, you know, sometimes you have to do some audio sweetening. So you can see here, I've kind of had to slip the audio because I found that sometimes there'll be frame sync issues, which is when your mouth lip sync and the audio just doesn't exactly match up. So I'll go in and I'll do some adjustments there if needed. Um, and so this is a, uh, the different audio tracks, these are, let me unlock these for real quick here. So once you import your, your, your video, you have the video tracks here and then you have the audio tracks. Uh, that's, this is this top one, this audio four is my interview and then audio six and seven, that's Neil's, um, that's Neil's sound. All right, so I'll just show you a sample of it here. And we're talking to Neil Augenstein, who is a veteran radio reporter at WTOP, which is a station in D.C. I actually, uh, my first station was in D.C., Neil, oh. at uh, WJLA. So uh, I'm kind of familiar with uh, the station there. Um, but you're doing some really innovative things um, with your smartphone and applications and that deal directly with your reporting. So why don't you talk to me a little bit about your reporting history and then how did you get into this new media and using these applications to help you tell stories? 
Well, I've been at the WTLP, which, as you say, is the all-news radio station in Washington, D.C. I've been there for about 15 years. Uh, when I came to, to WTLP, we still had reel-to-reel -reel, uh, players in the, uh, in, in the newsroom. Uh, we still played our, our audio off carts. Uh, the, uh, the, if you wanted to do uh, field reports, you had to carry a bag phone, which literally weighed uh, 15 pounds as much as a bowling ball. Uh, and uh, you, know, that you were really tethered to, uh, to that to that phone. Uh, as time has, has, has gone on, of course, we've had uh, digital editing with Cool Edit uh, and then, then Adobe Audition. And uh, then that went to, uh, to, to our laptops. Uh, you know, our, the, the technology has allowed us to do uh, live reports from the, the field with, uh, with Comrex equipment. Uh, and uh, finally, it was obvious that at some point we were going to be able to do everything from from a single device, and then when the uh, when the the cell phones uh, came on, the smartphones, uh, in particular the the iPhone, uh, and also uh, I was becoming aware of multi-track audio editing equipment uh, applications. Uh, I thought that that was the point where we really could make the switch, and we really could uh, try to do most of our field production. Uh, with with our iPhone, uh, I, since February 2010, I've been doing all of my uh, all of my field production with with the iPhone. All right, so uh, you'll have to check for Neil's interview because uh, I'm actually making a uh, creating a class about reporting with your smartphone, creating media with your smartphone, which this is a part of. But anyways, you know, Call Recorder is great software, and uh, I say check it out if you're interested in it, especially if you're on a Mac. All right, Amani Channel. This is WebVideoChefs.com. You know how to find us. You know how to ask us questions. It's ask at WebVideoChefs. Like us, leave a comment, subscribe, holla.